Hi everybody, it's Dragana from Sasebo. Welcome back to my channel. Before I start, first I want to thank everyone, all of you who are watching and following my channel. Thank you for all the wonderful comments. I it just, you know, it makes me keep going and I really, really appreciate all your all your input, all your suggestions and also all the kind words that, that you uh, leave in the comments. So thank you so much. Yeah, I really appreciate every single one of you. I had so much fun doing jelly printing last uh, two sessions and I just want to keep going. But this time I want to do jelly printing on junk mail envelopes and I want to actually create um, some ready-made pages to slide into my journals like I'm running low on my pre-made things and it, then it's taking me too long to put a journal together if I have a, for example ready-made things like this you see that's like a finished page with a pocket and if I'm making a journal I can just pick the one that suits uh, to that journal and I just put it inside and um, put it into the signature like this one and that one as well and they're really really easy to make and I want to make some more but I want to make them in different colors than this one because I want to use them in this journal which is more like pink and green and things like that's the journal I've been working on like forever and I'll just show you what I mean like if you have these ready made you pick one that you want and when you're building up your signatures you just you know put it in and look it's already there and you have a pocket here, pocket there, there as well, and one here. So they are quite versatile and for me it's just, you know, really good to have them. I find that um, using acrylics and a jelly plate or just brush works the best for me. And you end up with the texture as well as um, color and you can do stenciling stamping whatever but i think they're really really interesting so i want to make some of these today and i want to show you how to make them from start so first of all you'll need this or a larger brush or whatever you know if you have a jelly plate you can use it if you don't you can just use brush and just paint that's fine um then you'll need some acrylics just pick the colors that you want like for this project i picked some pinks and greens and a bit of brown because i want to make that dusty pink i don't want a bright pink or baby pink and i have some gold as well then you'll need some book pages i have some uh, bigger ones some smaller ones and they don't even have to be joined in the middle like you see these ones but then for some of the uh, projects it's best if it's like that like for this one if you have the page that it's sticking out it's better if it's joined but even here this one wasn't joined i don't know if you can see i put some just masking tape and then i stenciled with the ink on top hope you can see that's how i joined it but it would have been better if i had a page like that i just didn't see it at the time okay and then of course you'll need some junk mail envelopes like these and the way I do this, I like to open them up on three sides, like the top. That's opened already, yeah, yeah. And then here, the the side that's further away from the window. If you're using envelopes without the window, then it doesn't matter which side you open them up, like that. And now I want to uh, use jelly plate on this, and I wouldn't worry about this because once the paint is dry we'll just take a wet wipe and clean up that window there okay so let's open up all of them i set up my jelly plate i have my colors there i have a piece of acetate and i put some of this uh, washcloth underneath just to when i do this on top of a hard wood it just makes that awful noise and i don't like it so um i just put some um acetate and i use this as palette because i like to mix my colors here and for that i'll just use uh, this knife just want to mention in case you don't have a jelly plate uh, you can use your brush or if you want to make one it's not that hard to make really i left the links to the videos that i watched to help me make one and i left my own recipe in the 
one of the previous videos that I made uh, with jelly plates. So I will link that in my description box in case you want to try and make your own. What I want to do first is get some basic colors. I want to have some really uh, pastel -y pinks and greens, like lighter colors. I'll start by mixing some colors here. So I want to first add some white. I'll need lots of white, I suppose. And I want to do some pinks first. And um, that's when it says Rosa. I like these paints. They are actually really affordable. And they're really good for what I'm doing. So I bought a few the other day and then I tried them out and they were good. So I went and bought a whole lot of colors. <laughs> oh, I like them. And I have some of this. This is... Oh no, that's magenta. I won't use that one. But I might use some of the sienna, this light brown, because I want to make that pink a little bit less bright. So, you know, I just want to make it like an old pink color. Okay, let's start. So, we get some white, we get some pink, and let's get some brown. Yeah, more pink. I think I need more pink. Just take all of that brown. Really, for me, this is the quickest way to color these. Plus, it's so much fun. So I don't need to actually put color all the way, so I'll just it all like in the middle this bit. you want to spread the paint really well all right I'll just use a scrap piece of paper because I don't want to make, get my hands dirty. Let's see. Nice. Oh, it's really nice pink. As you can see, it didn't go all the way, all the way to the edge, but that's all right. We can always trim it down. And we can do this. Just pick it up. So I didn't want to get my hands dirty and that's what, exactly what I do. <laughs> I like the color. Okay. So if you don't have a jelly plate and you want to get that effect, I suppose you can do this. Get some acetate underneath, get the paint with brush or roller and just go directly onto the, like this, which is what I'm doing now to get those edges. Because my jelly plate is not big enough to accommodate for the whole envelope. All right, so you can do it that way. So I want to let that dry. Let's clean that up. Now, I want to have more of that similar color, so I'll just mix another batch. Perhaps this time I want to add some of that brown, just to see the difference. And maybe a bit of magenta. Just a smidge. Just to get a different shade. I 
will actually go all the way. Excuse my dog Benji. He's barking in the background. I think he's just happy that it's finally sunny. We had snow for a few days. It was a little bit depressing, but today I think the snow is melting. It's a bit of sunshine. that first before I started. I forgot about that, but it's fine. Just... I'm gluing this. even distribution of color. Let's just compare the two. Well, they're quite similar, although this one is a bit more dull than that one, so I prefer this one. All right. Now, let's just clean this up. Now, I have some pink left here. I can probably do another one. But again, I want to do it a little bit different, so this time I want to add some gold to it, just to see what's that going to be like. Turn almost like yellow, but I hope it's going to have some shimmer. So I want to achieve kind of like that vintage look, but also with some gold. Alright, let's do one. I'll just quickly glue this because I don't want to tear anything on accident. Really nice, really nice color. Let's see the edges. Really pretty. I can still see that there, but cover that up later. Okay, now let's do some green ones. So first, um, I think I want to get some of that one. And I think I need more. Like 
starting to look good. Wow, love it, love it, love it, love it. That's beautiful color. I got that edge as well. Nice, and now this one. So we still have some paint there. I'll just add more white. And this time I want to add should I use this one or that one? I think I want to add some of that. Just to see what kind of shade we can achieve. It's a bit too much, but I won't use all of it. I want to add some pink to it. Oh, I forgot to clean up the... That's alright, it's similar color. It doesn't matter. nice that one but this one's nice as well i like them both you see to achieve this bit just think it would be much harder for me you have to have the right shade of ink and then you have to do the inking which is um takes a bit longer than this all right, so let's have a look at all of them. Okay. I'll just put away this and I'll clean it up later. Okay, we have that one, that one, this one, and those two. So I'm quite happy with the colors and how they turned out. Okay, so what I need to do now is definitely glue these properly. Just use this stick and let them dry. And then we can do the second layer or either with jelly plate or with just stencils. So now I want to do, I'm going to use my jelly plate again. I just want to um, do like a second layer in a slightly different color than that. So on this one, I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe, hmm, hang on, I want to do the, this the first one with them, this one. So here I want to do something in slightly darker color than this. Um, so maybe some darker pink with a bit more brown and 
I want to do some like a checkered pattern. I don't know how to explain. So I'm, I want to try that. So I have some of these. You know, they're the off cuts. So I'm going to just place them. Like this. Hang on. The longer ones should go across. I won't do them straight actually. I'll just do them at an angle like that. Just I just want to try this out. So, like I said, I want to get that pink, but just a little bit dark than I had last time. I think I used this brow. So it would be the same, just with less uh, white. That would make it look good so yeah, how do I do this? Hopefully these uh, strips of paper won't stick to my brain. So far it's working. I think it's, it's all right. It's going to be okay. There we go. I like the pattern. Now, how do we want this? really pretty. I'm very happy with it. Okay, so on this one, I want to do something with feathers. But, um, I don't know, should I just paint over them or use them to imprint? And for the color, again, I think, should I go lighter or dark? I think I want to go darker as well. So maybe that color. Again, get some pink. We'll get some of that brown. I'm 
Oh, that's really dark now. Yeah, I think we need more light. Definitely more pink. Yeah, that's a bit better. Just got the yeah, it's a darker shade. Okay. Hmm. So now I have to. I knew this would happen. No, it's not gonna work like that. Gorgeous. I'm oh, very happy. Very happy. Wow. Okay, well, let's leave that one to dry. Okay, so now we have this one. And what should we have here? I think I want to use some stencils. This is the one I picked up yesterday. I want to use this one really nice and I want to make a darker color for that one but a bit more brown when it brown perhaps I'll add some of that green that's there just to make it a little warmer. Yeah. Let's do that. I love this stencil because it's bigger than my plate. So it's, it's perfect for this sort of work. You get the full design. And then you pick up either the whole thing or just pieces. Look at it. Love it. So. I'll just go like that. Wow, I love it. I'm really happy with it. Really happy. Really, really happy. This one I also picked up the other day, but I want the butterflies to... Is this going to look in a journal like this? Probably. It has to be that, that way. But I want the butterflies to be in different colors. Of course, I can't. I'm not going to paint each one separately, but I'll just put strips of, of color. All right, so I'll have shades. I'll just have some pink here. Then I'll have this magenta. A bit of dry paint here. And then I will have some of that green. Let's have a look. 
everything. So this Very interesting, although this side is just a little bit too much green, a bit darker, but it's not bad, it's it's good. It's not the subtle effect I was after, but it was it's still interesting. I can use it in journals. Nice. One more left. And for this one, I actually want to use gold. Just with gold. bad direction I don't think these are going to go in any certain way Envelopes. I think they're looking really interesting. Now we need to clean up these um, acetate windows and I've tried cleaning this one but the paint is really not dry enough so I ended up taking a bit of paint around the corners. So I think I need to wait just a touch bit more for it to dry so otherwise I'll just muck it up. But I'll just show you how easy it is to clean it. Like, just start in one end and you slowly take it off. Now, don't do it too soon because you'll end up taking the paint off the paper. And don't wait several days to do it because once the paint is really dry, it's going to be real difficult for you to clean it up. This one is dirty on this side as well, so I can do that easy. Here, I think. I don't want to take the paint off, but it's, you know what I mean. So we need to wait a little bit more for it to dry to be able to clean it completely. So I'll leave it for now. All right, so let's get our book pages. Now I have here, some of the book pages are like taller and some are shorter. So it's um, good to have variety depending on what sort of journal you're making. Sometimes it's a big journal, like you might want to get the full kind of, you know. But with these ones I need to trim the sides. I like I need to have this really straight. So I think I wanna keep this one as it is, so I will use that one for these bigger pages. I want of course the text to be the right player. 
is like great. We're using junk mail envelopes, but you know, to just junk and using book pages. And you got something for your journal that is really interesting. I really like this one. So I'm going to pair them like that. So for these ones, I'm going to use these shorter pages. Now, that one, because it's quite busy, I want to break it up a little bit. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to have it just half of it here and half on the other page of that something. Oh, I can't. The butterflies will be upside down, but what I can do is I can cut it. This one, because this is showing, I want to actually cut this to the side. I'll cut off the white bit first. And I think I want to tear this. So with these ones, you can either use them on a page like that. So for instance, if you have a page like that, you can you can do that and have them as side tucks. Or you can do like this. This is what I had in mind. Put them like that and have them that way. Okay. Now this one. What should we do here? Now with this one, I don't like that this is showing. So I'm going to, it's showing here, I'm going to fold this like that. Just gently press, I don't want to scrape off the paint. And I'm going to trim that off. And I want to round the edges. this as well i think as you can see here it's showing a little bit that writing and i think in my opinion it's just too much i'd rather have that a little bit less showing so i'll just take the strip off right now with these ones don't want to cut off too much but what I can do is add a strip of fabric I could see it with a bit of a ruffle that would look good or something else and yeah probably just around the edges all right I've cleaned all of the windows as you can see now, which one I want to do first? I think I want to do this one first. So, first I meant make sure that all of these corners are glued. Now, I want to do a, a little bit of a gold paint around the edges. So, I am going to just use that same gold paint. And I'll get a this is sponge. 
something nice scrap paper so i'll just dab a little bit like that and i'll just go around good right. well, do I want anything else today I have some gold base okay I've attached that with a zigzag start, stitch but uh, you could just as well use glue if you decide to make something similar Okay, and I have this bit that needs to, that I imagine to go there, but I'm not going to glue it yet because it, it's a bit bulky and it's going to be in my way when I do the rest. Like, I can check this now. Like I said, I'm going to use that. Put these other bits aside. So, what I do now, I open this up and I get those pages. And I put them where I want them to be, like this. Check that it's the right side up, it's in the middle. So what I do, I open up here, I just add a bit of glue. Is that so? I just repeat this on this side. Okay, I created a pocket here and a pocket there. Now we open it up and we have that. And for this, I like to use uh, washi tape. So I get a bit of glue stick and I just do this That's it. now I'd probably wait for it to dry and then I would fold it but now that I'm showing you how to do it I might as well fold it immediately I suppose I can glue this here now and uh, when I make these clusters I usually put some scrap paper on the bottom so that it's easier to glue down if I have just fabric then I prefer to use the hot glue this way I can Here we go, the first page is done. And then I can go into my little stash of ready-made papers just to slide it into a journal and it's ready to go. Distressing, sealed scissors. I'll just go around. We inked around, and what can we have here? Would this look good? It would if I attach it like that. I think that would look pretty. Okay, let's do that. 
get some for the other side as well. need something to cover this unless I put that there but I want it really here really close to the edge or even like that that's how I want it yep definitely so we still need something over here too cute love it okay I think it looks really nice with the feathers. So I think here. Now we can, I'm not going to do any more sewing. So uh, we can glue this down. Again using the same method. Now we need to join these. Ooh, I like that one. Have it there hanging down. That's really pretty, I think. I'm going to have to put that one. This side, we can have something here as well. Let's have that one there. I really like how this one turned out. I think I want to ink the edges with, a, with this dark brown ink. Now the pages are going to be there. I don't think I want to do any sewing on this one. I just want to do it. I had a look through my stash and I found that I really love this polka dot. If I have that here perhaps like that and then on the other side I could have that there I think that would look really pretty so let's that do that when I do ruffles I like to do the fabric um, sewn onto the paper that way when I want to glue this it's much easier to glue paper to paper Yeah, it just fits really nicely. Oh, I love it, it's so pretty. And this one, I want to put it somewhere here, just so it overlaps that a little bit. Again, these layers are attached to each other just with a stapler. So you have the paper and then three layers of fabric attached with a stapler. And I think I want to add, have this lovely brown flower lace. I want to add that there. And I think I want to add a few here. Like not the whole thing, that would be too much. But maybe I'll have three. Okay. I'm just attaching this with the hot glue. I 
Oh, I really like that. It's quite enough like that. I think it's kind of cute. Alright, and here I want just this thing a little bit more. So, then I'll add this. I'm really happy with this one. Let's have a look what it looks like in the journal. Can we put it somewhere? Do we have like a black page? Maybe here it's a bad. Oh, I really like it. Let me see. It's really 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 cute pocket and a pocket very happy with that one let's do that one so let's decide how we're going to decorate this one this one might look good I have two of those like that to go over today that would also be interesting to have that on one side i might do that this i'll just uh, add a bit of glue just to keep it in place I just want to make sure that where the fold is, there is no flowers. So maybe like that. And then I can turn this. All right, that seems to be good. Like that. Let's have a look once it's in the journal. What would that look like? That looks alright, and that looks okay as well. Now on this side, yeah, that looks nice. When this is kind of empty here, I could even have like a little belly band, and that they. This is from the same envelope. It's a piece that I cut off. There's enough day. Need something more to make it stand out. That could work. So I can just take that out. So it's been decided. I have that there. I will attach this to this paper with this sewing machine and then I will um glue it here and one of these can just go there after you can see here the stitching all I need to do now is just glue it and 
And now we have a little belly band. I will actually join them together separately like this. And I need something heavy to hold this in place. Then to move and I'll leave a little gap like that. I need something heavy over here. So. Now I won't cut that because I want to turn it to the other side. See? Because this goes only up to there. I don't want this to be visible, so I want to. I have to go all the way, but at least. So again, glue stick. this as a tuck spot here as well and that as well and basically I wouldn't have to glue this at all if I was to bind it into a journal like three whole pamphlet stitch would probably catch the middle and here but on this side it would only catch the bottom bit so I think I want to just add glue here in the middle just there on both of these sides. Just to make sure it doesn't move. Oh, good. Now let's just finish off. What did we say? We're gonna have that one there. I'm going to use the glue stick. Just, just going to hold better. Okay, so that is that one. I like this one as well. Okay, one more left to do. Butterflies. Over here. No, I'm happy with that. There. That might look all right down the bottom or at the top. I want to add a bit of gold finger wax don't use 
is a sponge. I'm very happy with this side. I think it looks good. We have that one, that one, that one, and those two larger ones. They would have to go into a bigger journal. And this one, this is A5. And I don't know, I, I, I like all of them, but if I have to choose, I think either this one or that one. Then I really like. I like this one as well. So this one I like the front side, the back not so much. But most of all, I had fun, and I hope you had fun too, and it gave you some ideas, because this is really a um, fun way to get pages with pockets down for your journals, and you know you make a full stack of them and you have them ready in a box, and when you're making a journal, just pull a few out that match the color of your project and. And your journal is uh, then completed much quicker. So, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun. You got inspired to make some yourself. And I uh, hope I see you in my next video. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.